We're going to um, call a root, and this time we're going to pass a query with it. We're going to pass some parameters with it. What we're going to do is you perhaps recall that before we, we played around with that URL where we just called get9. Now here we're going to see the syntax that would be available if we passed a query along with it. So if you can draw a parallel between calling a route, calling an endpoint, and calling a function. Then here we're calling a function and passing no parameters. But here we're passing a function and we're passing a parameter called key with some value associated with it. So we're going to pass a query. We're going to add a little something on here so that we can not only call our function, not only call our endpoint, but actually pass some parameters into it, pass a query into it. So let's begin by getting some user input so that we'll have something to pass in. And then let's also um, define a new method which will need a query, that'll need some data for it. And let's go in and just try to get this started here. Notice that I'm adding in some divs here now. For one reason or another, I've decided I need to separate stuff out with some divs. And while I'm thinking about the divs, let's go over here to our style sheet, which is in public style sheets style. And let's add a little rule for handling divs and say that we want um, the margin to be 10 pixels. Okay, now let's go back and look at this thing for a second more. <clears throat> we are defining a method called feet from miles. Okay, we're going to get, we're going to add a button that will call a method called feet from miles. So we're going to pass in a number of miles, 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's our parameter. That's our query. How much are we going to pass in? And where do we get it from? We ask the user to enter a number up here with our user input. So we create an input control and we ask the user and we give it an ID of user input and we make it of type number so that it can display numbers, not text. And then we're going to say, you pass in a number, and we'll translate it to miles, OK? We'll translate the number of miles you pass in to feet, OK? That's the goal of this project. So um, let's come back here. And so I show you the whole thing laid out the way I've just done it for you. And I show you the div here. And then let's also add in a little client-side action here. We're going to, I'm just going to give you the whole thing. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and add in a feet from miles method. Should have had a semicolon after it, right? Oh, we can't type anymore. And then let's also get our feet from miles action button and see what happens when we click on it, which will be to call feet from miles. OK, notice the way WebStorm is about this, that if we highlight one word and it also exists someplace else, it, show, it highlights it for us. All we have to do is put our cursor on the word, and it finds the place where it matches from. So if we go here, it finds all the other places in our code where we're using that. It's very useful. Um, OK. So let's look at this puppy for a second. Here we're calling feet from miles. Up here, we called the get9 endpoint. Here we're calling our endpoint called feet from miles, which is going to be on the server side, but we haven't defined it yet. And we're going to pass in a query. We're going to say, OK, now we're going to pass you in a query. That's what the question mark means. And now we're going to say the name of our 
query, the name of the data that we're going to pass in, the name of the parameter we're passing in is miles, and we're going to set it equal to this thing called user miles. And we got user miles by going to the document get element by ID user input. And you may or may not recall that user input is our input control. Okay? So when we come over to our program and we refresh the screen, now we've got an input control that works with numbers and we've got a button that does nothing. And here's our get9, which has somehow become not nearly as much fun as it used to be. Not sure what really happened here. Just things went south for us there. But now we've got our get9 working again. And calc doesn't work. Calculate because we don't have anything on the server side to go with it right now. So let's let's go over let's go back here. And here I try again to draw emphasis to the point that we're passing in a query here. And down here we define a little server side code. And we would put this in roots index.js, okay? And we're going to come over here to our code. We're going to go to index.js. And we're going to add in a new route called feet from miles. And we're going to look at this request parameter passed in to feet from miles, sometimes called req. And we're going to say we're interested in the property of the request called query. And we will find that on the property called request.query, there's miles. Where does miles come from? Well, we define it right here, miles. Okay? We define the query here, and by just wild coincidence, it pops up here. Our miles just show up over here by an amazing coincidence. Okay? And then we're going to multiply it times the number of feet in a mile and send back that as our result. So instead of just sending 9 back, we're going to say, let's multiply the query times 5,280 and send it back as the result. So our hope is that this works. <clears throat> so we're going to come over here. to our program, refresh it just for good luck, we're going to pass in 1 and we're going to choose calculate feet from miles and look, it's sent back a reasonable result. 1 mile, there should be 5,280 feet. 2 miles, this. Get 9 still works. Calculate feet from miles works. Everything's working. There's one other thing I want to show you here though. Let's look over here at the output on the server side. And you can see here that we're getting our request, get feet from miles, and notice that it shows the query that's being passed in, miles equals two. We can see the parameters being passed in. And then you may or may not recall that we had a console.log statement here where we said feet from miles called with the following query is what I'm saying, and we print out request.query. So now if you look here, you can see feet from miles called with the following query, and we print out the query that's being called. So miles set to two. In other words, request.query is an object, literal, with a single value key value pair in it where miles is the key and two is the value. Now back, we don't need to do it right now, but I, I think I do ask you to do it in the assignment. 
Of course, you might need to string these little puppies together. You might have to have miles, and then maybe you're going to have, in some other one, you would put an ampersand, and then you would say, foo equals, and then you would go user bar if the user were entering in, say, another value called user bar. So if you need to pass two parameters, you separate them with an AND symbol. Now, it's not like I'm making all this up. If you're curious about how you pass in queries <clears throat> on a URL, there's information all over the web on it. Now I'm starting to ramble. All right, enough. Have a good weekend. I think this might be all I'll show you. I might just leave you to do the rest of the assignment. I think I've given you a lot of details here.